What's happened to the North Melbourne Football Club? The cursed years. Brad Scott leaves mid-year with the club reportedly paying out his contract over many years following. After taking the interim coach role, the club hires Reece Shaw with zero process or interviews following. Shaw leaves citing stress and lack of support at the North Melbourne Football Club. During Reece Shaw's short stint, the club appointed Ben Amafio as the CEO, who had already had numerous red flags against his name. It's also during this time that Sonia Hood gets the nod as president with little to zero knowledge on being a sports executive. After Reshaw leaves, David Noble is hired as head coach, even though his credentials are only as a footy boss. And only after Paul Ruse backs him in, never mind Ruse is a good mate of David Noble, and calls this from where he resides, in America. David Noble is gone mid-year, with rumours that the players weren't on the same page, and he struggled to coach at that level. Continuing the club's exodus, the entire recruiting team walks out mid-year. By the end of the 2022 AFL season, Sonia Hood puts all her eggs in the Alistair Clarkson basket, and not long after he has signed, the Hawks racism claims comes out with Clarkson central to the complaints along with Brisbane coach Chris Fagan. Shortly after being appointed as coach, Alistair Clarkson stands down from pre-season duties, resuming on November the 1st. The Jason Horn Francis debacle. Picked at number one in the 2021 AFL National Draft, Horn Francis requests to be traded to Port Adelaide after his first season. Many other early draft picks over the three years now seem a bust. Horrendous injury concerns after the past few years, which is either of poor fitness conditioning or plain unlucky. Other disasters, which aren't the club's fault, but have contributed, such as Ben Cunnington's bout of cancer, Sonia Hood's bout of cancer. As of Wednesday the 17th of May, Alistair Clarkson has taken an indefinite time away from the club. And to top it off, the club has won 12 games in three and a half years. Amazingly, they do not have financial issues, which is probably the lone positive which is a lasting legacy of the James Brayshaw reign. And that's what's happened to North Melbourne.